Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's another beautiful day in Ghana, West Africa. Today I'm over in Pram Pram, which is in the greater Accra region. Pram Pram is the site of our Domes for Africa project. I came to check in on things. We're doing some electrical work for the main electrical connection. I decided to come out to the seaside early in the morning to get my cocoa, which is a breakfast porridge. I like the red cocoa and it's distinctly red because it has pepper inside. I really shocked the cocoa seller when she saw me today because it's been some time. I stopped in on another old friend and I tell you this, I cannot lie to you. This woman, I met her outside the door of her house and you will never Never, ever, ever believe me if I tell you what she was holding in her hand when she met me. It wasn't like she saw me and she went and picked it up. It wasn't like anything. Nobody told her I was coming. I did my filming by the seaside and I said, there's no way I can be in this area and not stop in on see her. And she lives at the police station her husband was a police officer, her late husband, I just found out. God rest his soul. So I met her years ago in Accra. And one day she was in Pram Pram. She moved to Pram Pram. She's a seller. So that's how I met her. I used to buy plantain chips from her. I was in Pram Pram on the side of the road buying lunch from my chicken and rice lady and I hear somebody and I look and <laughs> she started screaming and dancing I can't believe it I can't believe it oh I moved to Pram Pram some two years ago what are you doing here so she showed me where she lived so again like I said I wanted to go check in on her today and another one of the reasons why I was there is I wanted to stop by the police station because the police station is the, this is the police station in Pram Pram, a lower town. It is the first police station in Ghana. Now, mind you, you have to realize Pram Pram is a seaside town. It used to be a port. So that's why they were policing the ports. And that was the first police station and it was built with clay bricks. And so when people ask me, oh, well, how long is a clay brick house going to last? <clears throat> well, there's a perfect example. This structure that was built back in, I think, 1847 has been there since. And all it needs is a coat of paint. That's really all it needs. That's all it's ever going to need, aside from all the other maintenance of the roofing, really just roofing but just a coat of paint. So I wanted to stop by there. When I was talking to the police officers at the desk, after I had finished, I said, oh, well, can I go into the back and greet, you know, my old friend? And they're like, oh yeah, sure. And I was describing her and they're like, oh yeah, she's still there. And so he's even pointed to her, oh, there she is outside of her door. So when I turned the corner and she looked, she saw me and she, oh, Brad Kwabana. Can you believe that she was holding my business card in her hand? My business card that I gave to her probably 15 years ago. In her hand, thinking of me. Not that she went and got it to show me that she still has it. She was holding my business card in her hand already as if she was calling me. Look at God. Look at God. So that's one of the special relationships with people who is not really conditional. And it's just beautiful. So we rejoiced, we taught, we caught up. She shared with me the unfortunate news about her late husband passing two years ago. And we embraced. 
And so, yeah, unconditional, unconditional relationships, unconditional support. I shared with her that I'm now a father and that was a beautiful, beautiful start of my day. So again, if you're here now, I wanna thank you for joining me. I wanna thank you for clicking on the thumbnail and choosing this video. If you're already one of my subscribers, followers, supporters, I never really liked the word followers. We're all going together. And we're walking side by side in many cases. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't describe you as following me, but I do understand that you're following the journey. So I'm not gonna try to change the, change the word today. But again, thank you for being here. This is a driving tour. I don't even really like to call it a tour. It's more like a driving view, but you are on a tour and you're driving along. This is the major road going into Pram Pram. So this is where you branch off the highway and you come and meet this road. And this road leads you to Pram Pram Ningo. Now mind you, we're driving in the opposite direction. So it's as if we're driving to Accra and we're going to the main road. And Personally, I'm going to pick up some supplies. As I said, we're doing some work at the Pram Pram Beach project. So I wanted to take you along on this journey with me. This is a view of what I'm seeing along this journey. So again, thank you very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Help me run this algorithm up. And let's go. So let me talk a little bit about Pram Pram. Ningo Pram Pram. Pram Pram has become a very popular area for a number of reasons. The prominent reason is because of it being a seaside town. A lot of people love the ocean. A lot of people love the serenity of the ocean and the waves crashing and they choose that as their home site. One of the first questions I always ask people when trying to gauge their interest in land is I ask them, well, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the ocean? Do you prefer mountains? Do you prefer fresh water? And that dictates where I direct them to look for land. So, a lot of African Americans and repatriates in general, or members of the diaspora, and even locals, love Pram Pram because of it being a seaside town and then because of its proximity to Accra. Now, traditionally, oceanfront property was, I would argue, not celebrated in. Ghana and maybe I would even go as far as to say African communities. And that's because it was usually fishing towns and that was the commerce that went on. So a lot of people are like, oh no, that's where the fishermen live. And because of that, you know, it, it wasn't looked upon as like a prime property but with Western influence and our desire to be beachfront and hotels and everything, that changed that whole narrative. And so now the seaside has become a very expensive and, and prominent place. 
uh, currently they're doing a sea defense wall, which is a series of break walls where they drop the big, big granite boulders out there to kind of help with erosion. And so they're doing that all the way from Accra to Keta, which is near the border with Togo. And that's to help maintain the seafront property so that the ocean doesn't continue to take more and more of the property. So again, this has been a, become a very popular area for diasporans. I would say amongst our community, there's probably 30 or 40, might even be more. I'm sure there's probably upwards to 50 to 100 people who've you know, bought land in the area, but as far as who've built houses, uh, th you know, these numbers might even be conservative. I'll check in with the community and, and ask. But again, that's sizable for uh, Ghana. And I say that because typically we're all spread out for very good reason. And, and there's no need for us to all be in one place. But again, people typically come and buy land based upon their interest. And their interest lies in you know, it's a personal interest. So it could be, like I said earlier, they love the seaside. They, they love the mountains. They want a farm. If you want a farm, you don't buy land in Pram Pram. That's seaside. There's going to be a high salt content in the area. So you don't, you don't buy land there for that. It really depends on what purpose you're after. I would say for Pram Pram, one of the key interests is, is really community. A lot of people are after community. And so there is a nice little community of people in Pram Pram. They regularly meet at the Ancestral Wall, which is a restaurant and, I mean, really it's a, let's call it a cultural, cultural heritage site. The Ancestral Wall is a location where a brother from the diaspora came back in, for a lack of a better word, built an attraction. And the attraction is a series of murals celebrating signif significant figures throughout African, African-American history. And so that's a beautiful thing. Give me one second. Like I said, I'm out here shopping, so I need to pull in here and see if they have what I need. This is one of the prominent stores in the area. And so we're gonna see if they sell what I need, which I'm not sure if they do, but I hope they do. So give me a moment and I'll be right back. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. 